I think a good friend is someone who's honest, kind, and overall just a good friend. I think a good friend is someone who is caring, also accepts you for who you are. Somebody doesn't have anybody to play with, they'll ask them to come and play with them. You need friends to help you when you're down and to play with you. If you need support, then you're more likely to get help from your friends than your enemies. It's easy for me to make new friends. I just share kindness with them and then they'll, they'll be kind to me. I guess I just, you know, meet people, share common interests, and be nice. If they're like sitting on a bench or something, you could go and say hello. Maybe like introduce yourself. Many introductions happen awkwardly. You say hello, you say your name. You say, what's your name? You say kind of how old you are. You say, how old are you? And then you say, what do you want to play? And then you play that game with them. I ask them if they want to be my friend. They say yes or no. If someone was lonely in the first place, you could walk up to them and say, would you like to be friends? But if they said no, that would be fine. But if they said yes, then there you go. At our school, we have this bench it's called a buddy bench, and if someone sits on it, like say they don't have anyone to play with, you can go over and invite them to play. Someone is guaranteed to invite you. I just saw someone sitting down. I went over and asked this person and said, hey, do you want to go play Foursquare with them? And they said, well, sure. The recess bell rang like two minutes later, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if you don't, then they just feel excluded and letting people feel bad is never a good thing. He made me feel really good. It's good to have a lot of friends because then you can like, because you're nice to a lot of people and, uh, and being friends with people makes you feel good and it makes them feel good. It feels good to be nice to people. I do, I have a lot of them. And it's good to have a lot of them because if you only have one, what if they're not there? And then you'll have to just play all alone. Because then you get more people to play with and it's more fun. A week, friend connection starts. If it goes wrong, then it goes wrong. But if one single good thing happens, I think that it can all tie up into from one tiny thread, it can develop into a strong, strong rope. If you spend enough time with that person, if you think that person makes a great friend and if they do too, then nothing can break you apart from it. No. You always have to fight with them, and they're annoying. If it's your brother or sibling, then you can't. But if it's somebody else, then you can. Brothers and sisters can be friends. For example, um, my best friend um, and his brother are like friends. Um, I have two brothers. One is 12 and one is eight, same age as me. We get into fights a lot. <laughs> it's probably just because we're twins. <laughs> You can be friends with your pets. <laughs> well, you can like play with your pets and you can take care of them. Like dogs, you can take them on walks and you can play with them. I can be a friend of a cat. Play with it all the time. Give it toys. Always claws you and bites you. But I'm still friends with it because I love it. I have a doggy. Her name's Opal. Um, Mama, how do you spell it again? O-P-A-L? Okay. <laughs> yeah. She always looks a ton on my forehead. Being in a friendship means that you know someone's got the, your back. A friend is someone who makes you happy, and you make them happy. 
because we want to be friends together because he's so nice and I just love him. I think that's all. That's all I know.